tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here for another 25 days of giveaway episode. This is going to be day 9 here in the 25 days of giveaway of the Christmas and holiday season. So we're here on Forza 7. We're going to do some racing today, try and get some more of the career mode done. But before we do that, of course, you know it is a poster giveaway, so you guys know the rules. By now, if you don't, make sure you check down in the description box for all the rules. Make sure you comment on this video if you want a chance to win this autograph poster card. And today's autograph poster card giveaway is that number 959 Matt Kaufman autograph poster card. That car ready for war. Is an amazing car. Love the new livery on it. So if you guys want a chance to win the Matt Kaufman autograph poster card, make sure you comment down in the video down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and tap that like button. So like I said, we're going to get into some racing here. So... Gonna see where we're at in the Forza Drivers Cup. We're definitely far behind. So we're gonna just jump into the Masters class. What do we got? We got Super GT, Exotic, P2, Classic Muscle, Indy Cars. We don't own any of those. Sport Compacts, off road buggies, GT. We could do some uh, things to get cars. Uh, we may try the SVT Cobra Hoonigan Autocross first. You know what? Let's do it. Let's try this SVT Hoonigan Autocross. See if we can't get that car. Well, I mean, I'm a huge car. fan of American Muscle. I mean, when I came here, I bought my American Muscle car before we I got this my guy, horse. this man talking. You get the most bang for your buck with American Muscle. I think that's what it's all about. Do you? It's about delete, really? delete, delete, massive engine. Everything else is delete, but just make sure you've got the big V8 engine in it. Delete, 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 massive engine. I like it. V8, there's no replacement for displacement. So we're here at the autocross track here at Homestead. We're going to rip this SVT around, see if we can't get it. Uh, let's see how this works. Oof. I haven't driven one of these in Forza 7, so we'll see how this goes. We may be... Switching to in-car view. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. It already wants to get sideways. Try not to hit any barrels. Oh. Ooh, I wanted to click the e-brake there and, you know, throw the thing sideways, but that's not what we're trying to do here. I probably could have taken that a lot faster. We're just trying to beat it. Got to look ahead of myself, not look where I'm going. I got to look ahead to the next pylons that's the biggest thing with autocross always look ahead of where you're going whether it's autocross style like this or autocrossing on a skid pad style i did oh we tapped that i did do autocrossing for many years in my rabbit on skid pads all over ohio i did some in florida as well when i lived there it's a lot of fun definitely going to be rebuilding the rabbit probably for a full blown out autocross track car since i do have two cars now or maybe get rid of that and get a drift car or get a drift car too don't know yet but right now we're ripping this svt cobra around we may be switching if we don't pass we're going to try it probably in a different view oh don't get squirrely there we go it actually handles a lot better than i thought it was going to i can see a drift build on this car uh, okay we're just gonna shoot that straight looking ahead of us so we don't miss like that if I wouldn't have been looking ahead I would have tried to take that turn short and I didn't look ahead to that one I made my own mistake there but I think we're still good look ahead so we yep see if you don't look ahead that happens I was trying to stay on the same path and there goes another one ah I don't think this is gonna work. I think we're gonna have to retry this. Definitely screwed up a few times, but maybe we'll still beat it. Definitely hard on the brakes there. Whoa, I thought it was gonna get sideways on me.
Oh, don't hit it. We didn't hit it. We're good. That bank kind of screwed with me a little bit. I'm trying not to let the car go sideways. Oh, we just clipped it with our mirror. And we didn't pass because of all the penalties. If we didn't have the penalties, we probably would have passed it. So we're going to try it again. But we're probably going to go in first person now. See, handle our luck in first person. I wanted to retry. I didn't want to continue. You know, let me retry it. So obviously, we failed. There we go. All right. Try and give us a shot. We're going to try and get into the right view right away. Which, this may be harder in first person because we don't have perspective of distance on some of the turns. But we're going to give it a shot. There we go. See if we can do better in first person view. So far, so good. Feels a lot better. I feel like perception of where the pylons are is a little better. But I gotta make sure I look way ahead of me for stuff like that. We're good. Trying to be smooth on my steering because autocross is not always about the fastest car. It's about smoothness of steering and line choice. Like that was a pretty good line, but we just hit two pylons. Not good. like we're a lot faster in this section than we were last time. There's a little bit so we don't lose the traction on this car. Probably should have downshifted, but we're still going. Autocross, this is not easy in this game. Especially sure the cars they give you. It would be interesting to have a little autocross challenge against some friends, some of the team, maybe some subscribers. Oh god, I thought we were going to hit that. And actually build some cars that are really good and stable in a different class and have a little autocross challenge if we can. I think we can. I don't know if we can do timed autocross events or not. I'd have to check. If we can, let me know down in the comment section down below. Maybe I'm trying to do something that's not available. We go hard on the brakes. we go. I think we're looking better, a lot better in first person. I do race a lot better in first person. I should just, I, I knew I was gonna hit that. I should have just stayed straight. I don't know why I forced myself to try and go through that pile on. I, ah, I should have just taken that five second penalty. Too many penalties already. I don't, yep. Definitely not gonna get it again. We have to try this again. Who knew this was so hard? I think if it wasn't for. I think it's the four penalties I had, which, have been, which is 20 seconds right there. Because I think it adds the penalties right away. Yeah. Um, yep. So if it wasn't for the penalties, we probably would have had that. So we're going to have to do this again. And we're going to have to try and do this without getting penalties Ugh, who knew autocross is so hard I mean it's not easy for sure especially not in you know this style environment so uh so much for just doing a couple of races apparently we're going to be trying to get this autocross down Whew. you guys like to see you want to see more for seven let me know down in the comment section down below because it also does register you for the Matt Kaufman giveaway. Oh, I, I uh, that was that was that was ugly. That was an ugly line. That was a pretty that was a pretty good line. I'm trying not to get gate hits. I think if we slowed down and made sure we didn't hit any of the gates, we should be good on this. I know probably other people were probably like, I beat that one try, you know. Your driving's crap right now. Well, you know what? Maybe it is. But you know what? Not everybody's perfect. Okay. Ooh, that that was a good that's a good flowy line right now. 
trying to stay in second gear. I don't want to bog it in third. Well, that's nice. We're good. We're doing good right now. I think this is it. I think this is actually going to be the money run. Probably could have came to that with a lot more speed. I want to overshoot these don't want to go too quick there's one gate hit I, I think we can deal with one gate hit it's always known to shift third to this section as many times as I've done it oh don't hit that ah that's 10 seconds added I still think we can probably still get it with 10 seconds added at the hall some serious speed going don't overshoot these Oof, that was ugly. But we didn't overshoot it, so we're good. Here we go. Trying to be as smooth as I can on this wheel, but this car is definitely fighting me, and there's a third one. Ah! This is getting frustrating now. All I want to do is beat this. I don't want to keep doing this. As much fun as this is. Oh, we're getting squirrely now. Trying to, trying to overshoot it. I mean, we're, we have a faster time this time. And there's a gate hit. So we hit four gates. So once again, that's 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to finish it. Good thing I did that because I noticed my handbrake is not set up for Forza right now. So we're going to switch that real quick. Then we're going to, uh, I guess, give it another shot. As much as uh, I don't want to be right now. We got to give this another go. We got to beat this before the end of this episode. That is my goal. I mean, we'll take money. That's cool, too. But seriously, like, ugh. You're putting yourself under too much strain out there. Ease up on the difficulty until you get your skills to full throttle. Really? I f maybe I'm on a hard difficulty. Let's find out. Did it change the time? I think it did. So we lowered our difficulty. A little bit just so we can uh, try and beat this for sake of this video then of course you know we're probably gonna try and slide this thing stock so now we got a three minute timer instead of a two minute 45 second timer so once again as long as we stay smooth and we don't get any penalties we should be good I keep saying that and then we you know rack up we do good in the beginning in the latter section we start racking up penalties through some of these sections so we just gotta try and stay smooth you think I would know this track by now I, I have a good oh don't hit that Ooh, I thought the back bumper was definitely gonna hit that you know once we get this car we're gonna go try and slide this thing you know it's gonna happen I mean the power's not really there but We'll make do. There we go. I remember, I'm going to third gear through that last time. Oh my gosh, how did we not hit that pile on? There we go. All right. Now, I swear to gosh, if we beat this and then the 245 this run after we just lowered the driver tar difficulty a little bit, I'm going to be a little <laughs> triggered. But I think it's because the stress is off now, so I'm trying. I'm be, I can be a little more smooth, I guess. Remember the shift there, so we're good. That would be dangerous if you hit all those pylons. That would just destroy your run right there. I think it's also because these pylons aren't really on the racing line, and I'm trying to look for the racing line, and these pylons are nowhere near racing line. So we go better it's good no penalties so far we're doing way better this time lowering the drive it's hard difficult there's one penalty 
Oh, I turned into it. I, uh... I, if I would have stayed out of the turn and just let the car drift a little bit, we wouldn't have hit that pylon. But one's not bad. A little understeer. Really? I think we're seriously going to beat 245. I'm going to get triggered if we beat 245. Like... No, we're not going to beat 245. But I think we will beat the three... The three minute time. So we will be able to beat this. Actually, if we wouldn't have gotten the penalties... Seriously? <laughs> 246? <laughs> oh, man. Get wrecked. We would have beaten it, but we did take it this time. Wow, and we would have gotten it on the full one. Ah, oh, get wrecked. So, see? See, you let a little pressure off you, and uh, next thing you know, you're just, you know, flying through the track. Wow. That's crazy. So, well, we're going to take that. We're going to take that Cobra. I'll take it. Thank you. And then we're going to go uh, get in the Cobra. And we're going to we're going to try and riff it real quick. We're going to we're going to send it and see how it does real quick to end this episode off. So that's going to do it for this episode once we rip this out. So like I said, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below as well. Don't forget to comment down below if you want a chance to win the Matt Kaufman autograph poster card. Thank you for that Cobra. Single player, free play. We're already at Maple Valley Drift, so we're just going to enter into it. We're going to go with that. And uh, we're going to have a sip of our, uh, our brew here. Gotta stay hydrated. Don't drink and drive, though. Or drift. Well, it's on a video game. Otherwise, I don't condone it by any means. All right, Maple Valley Circuit. I have a feeling this car is not going to do that great because the power is definitely not there. But we're going to send it anyways because this is going to end off today's episode here. I want to do more racing, but the autocross kicked my ass. So, for the sake of longevity of an episode we're just gonna send this svt send it no power yep no power open diff i believe not good on the sweeper probably would be a good drift build see if we can get it to do something on these sections <laughs> so Stock? Um, not the greatest. But I bet you if we did a build on it, we'll probably uh, turn out pretty good. We may have to do a build. If you guys want to see a build on this SVT, let me know down in the comment section down below. Ooh, that was more than just a tap. I may actually do a drift build on this car. Maybe not. I feel like it needs a lot more power. You would think it would have more power, but it does not. There we go. We're getting a little slide there. Ah, reason the grass to slide. That's cheating. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see maybe a drift build on this SVT, let me know. Get in the ins and outs of a tuning setting for this car. Maybe you can't dial it in. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a amazing drift car that I may uh, end up liking and use in. Ooh, it's got some good steering angle though. I see that already. May use it in uh, ESDA if I compete this year. I was testing the steering angle. So until next time, guys. Oh, I must danged it. <laughs> I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I